is up, everybody? How are we doing? Hopefully you guys and girls are all doing well. Get everything rocking out here. Uh, Nathan, uh, 9 o'clock is, as of right now, when we will be launching it. Uh, the only thing I will tell you guys, but I will regurgitate this probably 50 times before the 9 o'clock, is anyone who legitimately is not going to join it, I just asked them if they could please kindly um, just stay off the site for the time being at nine o'clock so that way the people who actually want the spots it doesn't bog it down again it's just small things like that that help out but uh, I will also be launching in about 45 minutes Nathan a Saturday mixer which will have a free spot. So that spot is going to be absolutely freaking massive. So just giving you guys and girls a heads up. That uh, I will be launching the Saturday one. Oh, you got a Stutzo canvas. Very nice. Congrats, Kyle. Highly recommend getting that bad boy graded. Uh, Dave, it will be probably around... I think I said this last time, so I'm okay saying this. Um, it'll probably be around 1500 to 2000 It is getting immensely hard. And I honestly, I'm sure you guys are well aware of this thing. Immensely hard finding the old products. And they have jumped up in price significantly. Like, massively since uh, our last monster, but we are still able to have quite a few big items in there. And uh, in my opinion, again, as I've always said on milestone monsters, we literally price them well below retail. This one is approximately, I think if we did the math correct, just so you guys have an idea, I believe it's four hundred like ninety dollars cheaper than what retail price should be on this break. So you're talking like, and again, if I, if this break hypothetically is fifteen hundred, that means it should have been a nineteen hundred and fifty dollar group break. So we absolutely do our best to make sure that this break is uh, as loaded as hell for you guys. And as I said, milestones, we always want to make sure it's. Uh, it's as big as possible, but uh, yeah. And Dave, uh, we got an email from uh, MNT today about the slabs. By the way, I guess they're sending it back to us. I'm guessing you're obviously aware uh, aware of that. I think they're shipping them back or whatever it is. 
What are we looking at for giveaways? I don't want to spoil everything. But I can tell you with 100% confidence, it as of right now, obviously during the times, it is our single biggest giveaway we have ever done. So by dollar for dollar wise, it is by far, I think the biggest giveaway we have ever done. Yeah, it's crazy nowadays, honestly, things. So Dave, from what I heard, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I, I wanna make sure, because I will say, if it is what I heard, I do actually understand their point, and I don't think either of you guys are wrong, but from what I heard, and obviously what I saw, you had cards that were about four years old on grading. The slabs were coming apart, they essentially said that if they are too loose and the cards are basically out, they have to regrade the cards to keep the integrity of the grade. Is that pretty much a correct? Because I will say if that honestly, I will say in, in my opinion, if the card is out of the holder after, and, 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 and again, four years, that's a long time. I'm not saying you did anything wrong, but four years is a long time. But if the cards are out of the holder, I think to keep their integrity, they have to regrade it. Because the problem is, and of course I know you personally, so I'm never insinuating this for you, but there absolutely would be people who would switch out those cards and try to put a bad copy in there to then, uh, to then have another copy. Like, I, I don't know how, like, I guess you swap it out. So if that is what the situation was, I, again, I don't think either of you guys are wrong. I don't think there's a wrong or right in the situation, but I can, I do see why they would have to regrade and especially after that time. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. Maybe I'm just mixing it up with someone else's uh, email or something, but I feel like, and again, I haven't, I've never even asked them that question. I feel like if, if it's like a few weeks, maybe even a month after they've graded it, they should fix it for free. But if it's been several years, the, the thing is, you don't know how anyone handles these cards. Again, I know you, so this is nothing on you. But I'll tell you a fun story, Dave. We literally had a guy uh, who messaged us. Um, he told me in person and he dropped the holder and it cracked, but he was going to tell m and that it got cracked during shipping a year later. Um, you know what, Dave? Again, let me put it this way. I, I don't think there's a win situation anyway. Because if you've had cards for four years and they're loose... They don't know what you've done. And again, I know you personally. I would like to reiterate that to everybody online here. This is not directly to him. I'm just talking to him. But four years, some people could handle their cards way differently. I don't think that's on. And I'm speaking for any company. PSA, KSA, BGS, any company. Four years of having a card, you don't know how people handle them. You don't know what people do to them. Maybe they left them out in the sun. Maybe they were bending them. Maybe they dropped them. I don't think the onus would be on the company. And I do say that I feel like, again, not necessarily just m and I do feel like every grading company should have to regrade them to keep the integrity of the grade. Because the problem is if a slab is loose and that card can be swapped out, who knows if you swap that card out, they can't just re-slab it and say that's the same card. I, I feel like that would be, I, I would be honest, Dave, I would be way more concerned if they said no problem and just slabbed it for you. Again, just my opinion, I would be a lot more concerned if they straight up said, oh, no problem, even though they're loose, we're just going to re-slab re it. 
I, I think that'd be very worrisome. Because that just means they don't care about their true grades or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we're going to go and do 14042 first. Um, again, Dave, in my opinion, I don't think it really matters what the grade is. I think any company, like, I don't care if it was Beckett or PSA, if I have an open card that I could swap out, I think you have to have a baseline approach that you have to have integrity and regrade the card because unfortunately in our world, and I'm sure you're well aware of this, there would be people who would absolutely swap out those cards because they know they could maybe make more money doing it that way which I think is absolutely horrible and the only thing I would say is I think I don't know if Becca PS I don't even know if any company um, has any policies on re-slabbing for free but I would say if it was three or four years Again, I don't want to say I side with them, but that's a long time to know, sorry, to not know what happened to the slabs. And again, Dave, I'll give you a fun example. We had, uh, one of the reasons I also stopped dealing with KSA is we had a guy who had a Gretzky rookie. And again, it was his fault, but I see both sides of this. Is he had a Gretzky rookie. He left it in his car when he went on holidays, apparently. He left it in the sun, and if anyone knows on KSA, they almost like glue that black film around the, the sides. That melted, apparently, on the back of the card. So, of course, he basically said he wants KSA to, um, not, re not replenish, what's the card? Uh, basically to compensate him. To compensate him for the card, and I basically told him, well... I can see both sides, but you kind of left it out in the sun. Like, I understand I don't like the idea that there's glue in there. But he also left it in the sun to melt. It, it, I see it both ways, right? So I don't think anyone's wrong on that. I don't know how it got resolved, honestly. I Obviously, they just felt together. But all I'm saying is on m and end or Beckett's or PSA, they have no idea how people handle cards. Maybe... For all you know, maybe you were trying to crack it and you made it loose. And after three, four years, I would agree though, if they gave you those cards and it was a, like a week, two weeks, three weeks, even a month, that I agree with they should do it for free. Because that's, that's their problem. Two, three, four years though, again, my honest opinion. And again, Dave, the only reason I say that is I look at if somebody came to my business four years later and said, hey... The autograph puck you sent me had a crack in the case. Can I replace it for free? I'd be like, dude, it's been four years. Like, I, and again, that's just my honest opinion. I might, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe you think I'm a, I'm a jerk too for thinking that. But if somebody came to me and said that their, uh, their autograph puck holder had a crack in the case four years later, I, I probably would be like, that's, no, no, thank you, dude. Uh, Paul, I don't think any company actually puts seals on. I know the big companies, m and PSA and uh, Becca, they use a, what's it called, a sonic welder or sonic sealer. I don't think they actually physically put stickers on the labels. I might be wrong on that, but I know I literally just handled a Becca card yesterday. I don't remember a seal on it, but I know they're on all sonically welded. So whatever that means for anyone who knows what sonic welding is, I surely don't. I think that's just like melting plastic, I think. You know what, Dave? If you want, I can try to talk to them. And I got kind of a random idea because I don't know if they can re-slab the slabs. I don't know how that works, but maybe if you just want to maybe like 
take all the cards. If they could re-slab them, why don't you just send them new cards and ask them if they can give you a slight deal? Like, obviously, new labels, new slabs. Or, sorry, new label. If the slabs are open, why don't you just ask them if that's a possibility? See if they would entertain that. I don't, I don't know if you can sonically weld a slab that's been... I don't know how that works, honestly. So, maybe I'm literally just... But I have no problems, again, asking and saying, hey, maybe if you want to send in, like, seven new cards and they use those slabs at a bit better deal for you, at least it's it's helping you and it's helping them. Um, 9 p.m. is going to be the launch time of the 4,000 or 14,000 break. I will be launching a Saturday mix break, which I highly recommend all of you folks uh, keep an eye on because here's the main reason why. Um, here's the main reason why is that if in that break somebody is going to win a spot into 14,000. So. Uh, Dave, I don't know. Well, I don't know when you respond to them. They just emailed me today. So if this was today that they emailed or you emailed them and they responded to you. I, I'm always a fan of it giving every company at least 24 to 36 hours response time. But again, I don't want to speak that I know of the situation. I'm just saying... If they, if you respond to them and then it has been at least like 36 hours, I agree that's a bit bad. But if it's been less than 36 hours, I think we should give them a bit more time. But I have no problems getting on the phone with them tomorrow and calling them on your behalf if you want to. If you want me to. If you want to deal with it, more than happy. You've always been good with us, so I'm cool with that. And again, anytime I've ever dealt with MNT on problems, it's always been very easily worked out. But I just always like, uh, if you want me to handle it, let me know. If not, I'm okay just to be the middle person and sit back. So 14,042 is uh, going to be the randoms, folks. And honestly, Dave, I said, I hope you don't realize, like, I hope you don't think I'm trying to be biased to one thing. I just see things as a business owner. I can tell you how I view things, you know, and as I said, I can tell you that if somebody came at me four years later, I, I would be a bit off on that too. Not off as in it's bad, but it's a little long, but again, I'm more than happy to help if you want me to help. I, I, I zero problems with that. All right, good luck, everyone. 14,042, the randoms. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Big John, Vegas, Dante, Buffalo, Ottawa, Max, LA, Aiden, Rangers, Westy, Carolina, D. Mendez, Colorado, Car Park, Columbus, Brick, St. Louis, Rackman, Dallas, Hockey Fan, Detroit, ITR Boston, D Mac Washington, Slick Rick Anaheim, Falcon Vancouver, D Mendez Chicago, BA's got Ed Money, Jetster New Jersey, Jake's got Toronto, Van Seven Philly, Max San Jose, Jetster Arizona, Rackman Islanders, Slick Rick Winnipeg, Jimmy National, Hockey Fan Minnesota, Pets got Tampa, D Mendez Montreal, BA's got Calgary, CK Florida, Jimmy's got Pittsburgh. We can chat when well, you can always chat, trust me. I like having chatter. It's a lot better having chatter than no chatter, so please. I would love chatter anytime, all the time. <clears throat> so again, guys, anyone uh, who's got questions on 14,000, uh, it's going to be very big. It's got our biggest giveaway we've ever done. It's got a giveaway that it'll make you money the longer you even just sit on those things. And this is a giveaway that is going to be <clears throat> almost near impossible to probably replicate ever again. 
Unless the break is significantly, significantly, significantly higher. To give you guys an idea. But there will be a Saturday mix that I'm going to launch probably after the next two breaks. So I got this break. I'll probably do the in the game used. And then I will probably launch the Saturday mix. Again, it will have a free spot. Oh, excuse me. Hiccup. A free spot into that break. And uh, it will be spot number 31 in the draft. But you are eligible for all the prizing, which I can promise you that is the big, big, big sell of this. Plus, just because to me you have last pick does not mean you're going to get the worst pick. We are on a run, for those that care, of nine Mega Monsters and Milestone Breaks where the last place team was not even in the bottom five of how it turned out. So, that tells you right there, last place does not mean worst. But Dave, as I said, I also appreciate your uh, your candidness. As I said, I try to just be a middle, impartial, honest opinion from both sides. I see both sides of it. In my opinion, I, I think the easiest... The resolution should be they should offer you a deal. Almost scrap the whatever, how many cards you had, seven or eight. And hopefully they give you a deal on some gradings. And you guys can both be happy with each other and understand kind of the deal going forward type thing. But that that's where I think they should do it. And I have no problems asking them for that for you. You know, throwing our weight around a bit and just saying, hey, you've been a good customer. You know, even if it's like five, 10 bucks off a of grading is still saving you hundreds of bucks over 10 cards, right? So something like that, maybe, I don't know. You tell me, I will work for it. But I do, I will say again, before I start this break officially, I will say my honest stance is I do at least, I'm very happy that they basically are insinuating they have to regrade it because I would rather them say that than literally just be okay slapping something. I would, I would have personally lost a little bit of integrity on their end if they just blindly re-slap things. Yeah, you know what, Paul? So I will tell you on that. I, I don't know too much on that. But I'm guessing what ended up happening is either the pricing on the AJ's one was way too much money. Because they do do different pricing on different players based on uh, teams and all that fun stuff. And obviously, if it's uh, if it's too much or whatever it is, I apologize. Dan handles those things. I can punch Dan for you, very very hard if you would like, and personally address it from you. I think that'd be a fair resolution to that one. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start the first break. And also, by the way, uh, we will be uh, having a longer timer, guys. A longer timer for the uh, 14,000. So if you have spots, please do not sit there and refresh a million times. It'll sit in your cart. Um, I will ask anyone who is not actually going to join the break, please be courteous. Stay off the site at 9 o'clock just for about 5-10 minutes. Let the people who want their spots get the spots. Then you guys can see it's not going to change. It just uh, it just slows it down when you have hundreds of people refreshing. And if 50 of those 100 people are not even, even buying the break, you're just bogging it down. But I do anticipate, because of traffic, guys, I do anticipate it's probably going to have a bit of a glitch. I apologize in advance. Literally nothing I can do. Unless I want to pay millions of dollars for a server. Not yet. Alright, good luck everyone. Here we go, 14,042. We've got the dual Series 1 and Series 2. Question for me. Go ahead, sir. Uh, 
Uh, it'll be a team, uh, yeah, you pick. Not a random draft, a team draft. So you guys pick. Predominant of Mark Stone for the Vegas Golden Knights. Young Guns Canvas, Jake Ottinger. But I do, the only, again, I'm not going to give away too much about it. But the whole break itself is around $500 below what it should be. That should give you an idea of how crazy the deal is. McMichael for the Capitals, Young Guns. Dazzlers for the Islanders of Matthew Barzell. Any big break that we do, Paul, it's almost always. Velarde, Young Guns for the Kings. Always a, uh, like a you pick it draft. Always. Portraits for the Canucks of Patterson. Young Guns, Tyler Benson for the Oilers. Morgan Geeky, Young Guns for the Carolina Hurricanes. I think Greg has a very long question for me. Kuznetsov for the Capitals, Canvas. Canvas for the Rangers of Igor Shesterkin. Rookie retrospective of Mers Lickens for the Jackets. Uh, I said the spots that we choose will be uh, for the draft order, yes. Worldwide of Ovechkin for the Caps. Yeah, I take everyone's name. I random, random, random. Whatever number pick. Uh, they are from the same case, yes. French variant of Orla for the Caps. Greg, for the, the last couple days, yes. It's not like going forward. Predominant of Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. Going forward, a four is going to be a random four. But today, that's the case right there. Portrait of Bergeron, Boston Bruins. Game Jersey, Adrian Kempe. L.A. Kings. Adrian Kempe. Debut of Boakfist for the Hawks. Portrait of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, the only thing that makes it tougher now going forward with the way the hobby is going. Worldwide of Lungfist for the Rangers. Is I looked at, for example, in group break 13,000. 15-16 uh, cup. Bertuzzi as uh, canvas for the Red Wings, was $3,500 a tin. Right now it's $7,000. <laughs> Josh Norris, Young Guns for the Ottawa Senators. fifteen sixteen Black Diamond, for example. Clear Cut Foundations of Heiskanen and Pavelski was uh, $549, and now it's $1,300. So almost every product in $13,000 almost doubled or tripled since we've done that break. So it makes things a little trickier going forward because A, they're impossible to find and B, they cost me a lot more. Reduke Young Guns for the Golden Knights. Portraits Rookies of Jake Evans for the Habs. Uh, Greg, yep, that is very possible. We had quite a few, uh, we've only had one, I think so far this year, not get a Caprice off. Um, but I remember with Lafreniere, we had quite a few people open cases not get a Lafreniere. It's sad, but it's a collation. Like, we had one guy literally um, tell me he, he got four of the Skinner Young Guns in the case. I don't know who he got left out, but he had four Skinners. That never used to happen where you could even get more than two. It generally was always two as the max, but he had four. <laughs> The Lafreniere is not rare. They should all be the exact same printing. Peyton Kreps, Young Guns for the Golden Knights. So that's just a, that's just a printing error. Or whoever did it. Brady Kachuk, Canvas. Clear Cut Base of Trocheck. 
intro check. Um, so what I'm going to recommend is anyone who joins that, I'm going to ask them to send their list as soon as possible. Worldwide of Mark andre Fleury. I'll probably even get Dan to email every person in the break and ask them to send us a list. Predominant of Jones for the Jackets. So if, if this one goes slow, then we are going to implement a draft clock. Zach Hyman for the Maple Leafs French variant. Portrait of Marc Andre Fleury for Vegas. Well, Greg, the one thing you have to remember is you're really only going to talk about the Capri Sauce or the Stutzels. Nobody really cares if you're missing a Skinner young gun, right? Prominent or predominant of Joe Thornton for the Sharks. So that's why you just don't hear of anyone else but the big boys. Dubois for the Jackets. Portraits. Zagadulin, Young Guns for the Flames. Like, if you open Series 1 and did not get a Zagadulin, you're probably not too worried about that. Suit variant of Nick Suzuki. The other thing you can tell, Greg, that was kind of a mess up. If you've paid attention to the breaks, uh, some of those boxes are way too loaded. Like, you'd get a clear-cut young gun, then you'd get a canvas young gun, you'd get a case hit insert. Ustamenko young gun for the Flyers, which definitely... No, Stuart Skinner, I think it is. Portraits rookies of Norris for the Sens. I think it was a goalie, Stuart Skinner. Worldwide, a Crosby for the Penguins. So when you see stuff like that, then you know it's a printer issue. Zuccarello canvas for the wild. Yeah, I saw, I've noticed that quite a bit too. Robertson young guns for the Dallas Stars. The one box I opened on release is what was like a Stutzel young like young gun. Huberto canvas for the Panthers. I think it was like a Kaprizov young gun canvas. Something else. Worldwide Pasternak for the Bruins. It was crazy. Dazzlers of Carey Price for the Habs. <clears throat> Villardi Young Guns for the LA Kings. Portrait of Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. Debut for the Golden Knights of Cody Glass. Canvas of Kyle Connor for the Jets. It's been a week. Tell me about it. And a Carlson Young Guns for the Hawks. Sometimes breaks just take a little while for whatever freaking reason. It is so random. That's a damn good break, too. I don't know why that one's uh, so slow. Uh, what well, box I suggest around the five hundred dollars. In all honesty, Premier would be up there. Uh, Premier would be one of my favorites at this time for that price range. Probably Premier, yeah. Canvas of Headman, Tampa Bay. Athanasiu canvas for the Oilers or two clear cuts. I, mean, I actually do really like the potential in clear cut this year. We've got a marquee rookie of Duke for the Golden Knights. Marquee rookie retro McLeod for the Oilers. Award winners of Makar for the Avalanche. Marquee rookie of And Whistle for the Hawks. Marky Rookie of Ty Delandrea for the Dallas Stars. Portrait of Pierre-Olivier Joseph. And a French variant of Tarasenko for the Blues. No idea on that one. Ma Award winners, Blue Bobby Ryan for the Ottawa Senators. That one I feel like is going to keep getting a little pushback. Dia Angelo Young Guns for the Penguins. All I know is Diamond and SB Game U should be April. The rest, who knows? Tony D'Angelo 
for the Rangers. Canvas. Cole Sar, Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Rookie Jersey of Alexia for the Caps. Well, the, the one thing I was thinking about on that Mega Chancer is that literally guaranteed Marchman Young Guns for the Panthers. Somebody's going to get the case hit of Cup for $49. Portraits, Rookies of McMichael for the Caps. Marky, Rookie of Connor Ingram for the Preds. That to me is what I think is a great value. Vanasek for the Caps. You're guaranteed to get a cup case it for 49 bucks. somebody is. Marky, Rookie for the Avalanche. Shane Bowers. Dazzlers of Brock Nelson for the Islanders. Shea Weber Canvas for the Habs. So that'll hopefully go today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Pui Suter Young Guns for the Hawks. We've got a Young Guns exclusives of Austin Pogonski. One hundred exclusives Pogonski that's pretty sick young guns of Leonard for the Sharks portraits rookies for the Avalanche Bowen Byram and a marquee rookie for the Dallas Stars Jake Ottinger All right. So again, guys and girls, I will be doing this break. Then I will be doing the in the game news. Then I will launch a Saturday mix, which will have a free spot. So for those who cannot spend a ton of money on fourteen thousand, I'm at least giving someone the opportunity to be part of fourteen thousand at literally significantly cheaper price than what it would have been. Clayton Keller canvas for the Coyotes. So hopefully. Hopefully you guys appreciate the opportunity of that. Marky Rookie of Burden for the Jets. Award winners of Yossi for the Preds. Award winners retro, oh sorry, Marky Rookie Retro of Sen for the Devils. Marky Rookie Retro Lafreniere for the Rangers. Marky Rookie Lafreniere for the Rangers. <laughs> Marky Rookie Blue Vanasek for the Caps. We've got a French Young Guns of David Kasha. And a portrait of Ul Stamenko for the Flyers. Letnov Young Guns for the Sharks. Portraits Rookies of Korshkov. <clears throat> ja Jordan Gross Young Guns for the Coyotes. Foot Young Guns for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Rookie Jersey, Ty Delandrea. Yeah, so they're going to be 31st in the draft, but they're eligible for all the prizing. And you will see that is probably one of the most important things. Sorokin Young Guns for the Islanders. Hurdle Canvas. Let me, let me put it this way, Paul. Let me put it this way. Portraits rookies of Karushev for the Hawks. The main prize is roughly seventeen thousand dollars. Marky rookie of Sen for the Devils. How's that for a little hype? Radish young guns for the Rangers. Canvas of Rupe Hints Dallas Stars. 
Signature Sensations, Julian Gauthier for the Rangers. Julian Gauthier. Hawk and Pie, Young Guns for the Anaheim Ducks. Portrait of Lawrence for the Canes. <laughs> That's a spicy one. Marky Rookie of McNeven for the Habs. And we've got a Dazzlers of Brent Burns for the Sharks. And a retired canvas, Ed Jackman. G. A. Goldman. There we go. It's a big prize, a case of 67. Do you honestly think, Glenn, that with the way the hobby is right now, a case of 1617 cup is even available? Like, do you honestly think that's available right now? Because the last I saw, and I might be wrong on this, the last I saw someone have a sealed case of it, it was a company in the U.S. that had one, and I think they're asking 20000 U.S. <laughs> I might be wrong last time I saw a 1670 case. I thought it was around 20,000 US. And I'm now quickly going to verify if I if I was correct on that. I just want to see uh Sorry, 19,000 US. My apologies, I was wrong. 19. Did you really, Daryl? That's awesome. <laughs> swap with Tesla. I have a case of cards. You have a car. I would like to swap it, please. So the one thing, as I get the next break, right in, uh, go through payments... I don't know if you guys have noticed this now. On older cases, it's very reminiscent of what basketball and baseball and football is. You pay more for a sealed case. I've noticed that with hockey now. A lot of the U.S. guys, they're actually charging you more um, for a sealed case than a box would be. Like if you times it by whatever it was. So I thought that was, uh, I'm seeing that a bit more now. And, and I will also be honest, it kind of makes sense. Like again, I, I actually completely understand why. Because especially now, right? If you buy a 15, 16 cup tin I feel like having a 6-tin case, whether that even exists anymore, a 6-tin case is, it give, it, at least you're guaranteed to get the case hit. It's not upcharging for the case hit, but I understand it. It's weird. Again, I'm not saying, it, to me it's still weird, but I saw that in basketball back in the day. And I never really, really, really understood that. But I've started to notice that in uh, in hockey, that older cases, like for example, makes sense. And I'll be honest, some of it makes sense though, because if I buy a sealed box of 1516 Series One, I'm not guaranteed a McDavid. If I buy a case, again, presuming no crappy collation, 
I should get a McDavid. What's 17,600? I'm kind of curious on that. Whatever he's talking about, I want to know. Fourteen thousand forty four. Give me one second. Uh, I gotta figure out the official date. I heard it was gonna be the seventh of April, but until I get confirmation in the checklist, I can't build anything. Then generally it's going to be the Wednesday to Saturday before the release, unless the checklist comes in later. It almost always is about a week before release, unless the checklist comes in later. I know some breakers post it up earlier without even looking at the checklist. I feel like that's a very bad way of doing things if you don't even know it's in the freaking product. But all right, fourteen thousand forty-four. Paul, you got me kind of curious. What's 17,600? I'm so anxious. Here we go. 14,044 in the game used. Hit. Or number select. Sorry, not hit select. Yeah, no worries. We'll keep you updated again. We just, uh, no, I can't launch things. I don't, I don't launch things for the sake of launching things. You know that. I try to pay attention to those things. That looks like it's going to be a nice card. Number 32 of 35, Bobby Clark, centerpiece. So the two spot. We've got number two of 12, Bobby Orr and Ray Bork. Two of 12. We've got number 27 of 30. So the seventh spot, Marty Broder. Marty Broder. Numbered 10 of 12. So the zero spot, Solani, Korea, Niedermeyer, gets laugh. That'll most likely be next week, uh, Dan, just on that one. As I said, this week's been pretty uh, busy with 14,000, Mega Chancer, Series 2. Been a very packed week. And that is just nasty. Three of three. Triple Mem, Triple Auto, Trottier, Pot Van, Gillies. Three of three. Three. Yeah, there we go. Damn, that was solid. Seventeen. Nice. Can you still, Paul? Can you still buy some of that? Because I know that I saw one guy in the U.S. has a case for 19,000 U.S. 
which I think. Oh, damn, that's a lot of money. $23,700. And that doesn't include shipping or duties. Woo! That'd be a lot of money. What's 17,600? Divided by six. 29, 33, a 10 plus taxes. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. As I said, the last time I saw 15, 16 cup cases on auction at uh, I think Golden Auctions or Classic Auctions, and it was only a 3 tin. So I do wonder if anyone's got a, uh, I was going to say a 5 tin, a 6 tin. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, as I promised, I'm going to give you guys an early chance at a spot of 14,000. I will post because I want to get this done before because last time I waited and uh, our site got bogged down. So I'm going to post the first one for you guys, which is going to be the free, uh, the Saturday mix. So it's basically this normal Saturday break, like a mix break, but we're doing a 14,000 spot. So I might as well give you guys the availability of that first and then uh, we'll keep on crushing the breaks for tonight. But I'm hoping you guys, uh, and I'll give you a few minutes before I officially post it on uh, Facebook, so that way you guys have a bit of a heads, uh, head start on them. So... By the way, there's the link. And again, ladies and gentlemen, those breaks generally go pretty quickly. I tried to give you guys as much notice as possible on this. So take advantage of that. I'm going to get the break stuff ready for you guys. So we, uh, while you guys are hopefully getting a head start above everyone else. I can uh, get the emails done and ah uh, the two spots in ultra. Let me see. So by the way, forty-five is going to be next. As I uh, keep checking along on this, and give me one second, Glenn. Thank you for bringing that up. I will. Uh, See if a uh, pending payment. We got uh, quite a few pending, so uh, one of them I'm canceling because it's been an hour. It's a better Saturday break. Yeah, again, the price point's a little higher. Obviously, understandably, guys. It's not like uh, I can just give away. Uh, you know, I was about to say the spot price, so you almost got me there, Meta. But I can't just uh, do that. But the whole point was to do a better Saturday mix with a massive prize and I can confirm to you guys it would be le it's not even 10% like so you're getting it like if you win a spot for 150 bucks you're getting that spot at less than 10% of what it would be so gives you an idea it's a pretty damn uh, big opportunity for a decent break and a massive 
chance. Yep. It's exactly a good way to put it. Like I said, we do try to give the opportunity always for members who maybe could not join the massive breaks, but we definitely do try to help them out on that uh, on that end. All right, I canceled the one spot, by the way, uh, and I'm I'm just canceling the other spot, Glenn. So I appreciate you letting me know on that. Again, it happens, sadly, but that's what it is. But while we're uh, filling up the brakes, I'm gonna get 45 ready to rock and roll. Oh, 45, there's no team select. Oh, nice. It's just a... Sorry, it's a team select. My apologies, guys. It is just a team select. Which means I can roll right into it. What's up, Fergie? How you doing, sir? All right. All right, so 45, ladies and gentlemen, is a team select, so I can start that right away. Can someone fill out the premier break? I know, we got to get those old breaks going. You know what, Matt? It's, it's so funny nowadays. It honestly is. Is I remember we had the one break, so I, I posted uh, an SBX break. It filled in a day. I literally waited about five, six days to post the next one to give it some time to absorb. And then the next one takes like six days to fill. I literally have no understanding of what breaks people want what days. I don't know. It's so interestingly confusing to me. So I just find it enjoyable. Cause I have no, those premieres used to fill up in a day. Fergie, that's a huge card. I have no idea. I have not paid attention to the market on that right now, but that's probably a significantly decent card if I had to guess. Here we go, 14,045. We've got the four box team selective series two. Like I would, Fergie, if it was my card, I wouldn't post it for less than a thousand bucks because if you're the first one who has it, might as well go after it and just go for as much as you can, right? Dazzlers of Burns for the Sharks. Program of Excellence, Colorado Avalanche, Shane Bowers. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like those uh, cup breaks are $89. I remember we literally did three in one day. Pin Ho Young Guns for the Caps. And now the next one I post takes like seven days to fill. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just sometimes wrong people, I guess. Exclusives of Sorelli to 100. Tampa Bay. Canvas for the LA Kings of Aya Follow. Yellison Young Gun for the Calgary Flames. Portraits, Rookies of Bezil for the Habs. Marky, Rookie for the Habs of Bezil. Elman, or Kelman, Young Guns for the Sharks. Carter Hart for the Flyers, Canvas. Clear cut base of Dennis Yarianov. Dennis Yarianov. Yeah, it is said it happens, Matt. I don't know. Marky rookie of Ty Delandrea. 
It's funny when sometimes I'm not saying you're doing it. Pogonski, Young Guns for the Blues, when people are like, fill it faster. Like asking me to fill it faster. I have no idea how to fill it faster. Retro award winners of McKinnon for the Avalanche. I'm trying my best. Portraits rookies of Ingram for the Nashville Predators. Marky rookie of McLeod for the Oilers. Portraits rookies of Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. And a Sveshnikov French variant for the Canes. Skinner Young Guns for the Oilers. As I spoke about Skinner, there you go. Marky Rookie of Sen for the Devils. Oh, I agree, Matt. I would love to get them all filled. Killorn for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Canvas. Award winners of Tampa Bay Lightning. Retro Rookie of Alexiev for the Caps. Marky Rookie Blue of Burke for the Coyotes. Portrait of Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. And a Young Guns, Tim Stutzel. Highly recommend getting that bad boy graded, by the way. Great deal to get it graded. Helps uh, increase the pricing pretty much no matter what. Well worth it. For how little you spend on grading in all honesty, especially with MMT, and how much extra you can get on that card, literally like 26, 27 bucks can make you maybe another 200, $300. Stupidly good deal. We've got a Young Guns canvas of Kibaranta, Dallas Stars. Award winners of Yossi for the Nashville Predators. Award winners red of Leon Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Marky Rookie Blue of Prisky for the Panthers. Blake Wheeler, Canvas for the Jets. Shea Weber, Dazzlers for the Habs. Portrait of Lindstrom for the Red Wings. Foot, Young Guns, Tampa Bay Lightning. Ty Smith, Young Guns for the Devils. Lankin in Young Guns for the Hawks. Mikola Marky Rookie for the Blues. Canvas for the Oilers of McDavid. Portrait of Harkins for the Jets. Prisky Young Guns for the Panthers. Marky Rookie of McNiven for the Habs. Ant Whistle Young Guns for the Hawks. Canvas of Fox for the Rangers. Are there any spots left in the Saturday mix, by the way? Game jersey or rookie jersey of Jake Evans? Or did you guys gobble them all up before? Portrait of Letnov for the Sharks. Marky rookie of McMichael for the Jets. Marky rookie of Lafreniere for the Rangers. Marky Rookie of Burden for the Jets. Oh, by the way, I'm sure you guys are probably well aware of this. Portraits of the Jackets, Kiv Lennox. But holy jeez, French Young Guns, Caprice. 
of French Young Guns Minnesota Kaprizov. Okay. Uh, I definitely recommend getting that one graded for Minnesota. Congratulations. Yo, Levy, Marky Rookie for the uh, Vancouver Canucks. And a Mitchell, Young Guns for the Hawks. Holy jeez. Holy jeez. <laughs> that is a monster. <laughs> That's awesome. That makes me happy. Uh, uh, yes, please, if you can, Glenn. Congrats, by the way. Young Guns Canvas for the Avalanche Martin Cock. Award winners of Makar for the Avs. That is brilliant. Peyton Kreps, Marky Rookie. Retro for the Golden Knights. Award winners, Blue of Makar for the Avalanche. Portraits, Rookies of Vanasek for the Caps. Yalison, Young Guns for the Flames. Oh, nice fan. Marky, Rookie of Reed Duke for the Knights. That's a nice little surprise, eh? Chatfield Young Guns for the Vancouver Canucks. We've got a black marquee rookie retro for the Dallas Stars to 100. Thomas Harley. Thomas Harley. Those are hard to hit. Black marquee rookie retro. Marky Rookie of Joseph for the Penguins. Marky Rookie of Ottinger for the Stars. Hagel, Young Guns for the Hawks. Canvas of Hopkins for the Oilers. Dazzlers of Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins. Marky Rookie. And whistle for the Hawks. Portraits for the Avalanche of Bowen Byram. Portraits rookies of Joseph for the Penguins. And a Jordan Stahl French variant for the Canes. Lankanen Young Guns for the Hawks. Pinho Young Guns for the Caps. This is an exclusive, wow. Holy jeez, Young Guns. Kaprizov. This may be the best team select Minnesota break you could possibly do. Holy jeez. Canvas of Ovechkin for the Caps. Glenn is on fire. Portrait of Robertson for the Leafs. I feel like he might pass out soon. Fluorescent rookie of Yo Levy for the Canucks. Why stop at just the French version? Right? Marky rookie of Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. And an Olafson for the Buffalo Sabres. Speaking of Buffalo, you guys hear about the trade? Eric Stahl is now a uh, Montreal Canadian. Hopefully you have fans heard that right. It's an interesting uh, pickup for sure. I, I like the veteranness of it. We've got a Dazzlers of Braden Point for the Tampa Bay Lightning and a program of excellence, 
Ty Della Andrea for the Dallas Stars. DeRosier, Young Gun for the Panthers. Veg Demo, Young Gun for the Habs. We've got a suit variant, Carey Price. Suit variant. So, Van Dirk, you're not, are you thrilled about the trade? Don't really care about it. Lawrence, Young Guns for the Canes. We've got a clear cut of Lemieux for the Rangers. Thurkoff, Young Guns for the Jackets. Portraits, Rookies of Alexiev for the Caps. Portrait of McMichael for the Caps. Marky Rookie for the Leafs of Robertson. Marky Rookie of Ingram for the Nashville Predators. Canvas of Pavelski for the Stars. Marky Rookie of Prisky for the Panthers. When's the trade deadline official, uh, the actual date? Malkin for the Penguins. Canvas. Retro Marky Rookie of Lawrence for the Canes. Anders Lee Canvas for the Islanders. Marky Rookie of Zagadulin for the Flames. April 12th, yeah. Portrait of Della Andrea for the Dallas Stars. French variant, Sam Steele for the Anaheim Ducks. Pogonski, Young Guns for the Blues. Award winners of Dumba for the Wild. Marky Rookie Retro, Larmy for the Penguins. Blue Marky Rookie, Jake Ottinger, Dallas Stars. Portrait of Soderstrom for the Coyotes. And we've got a Ty Smith, Young Guns, for the Devils. April 12th, so they got a bit of a while. They got a bit of a while for that. And playoffs are supposed to start when? That's pretty close to playoffs, is it not? is damn cool. Congrats, by the way, Glenn. That's awesome, man. I'm happy for you. That was a beautiful, beautiful card to get. All right, give me one second, folks. I do apologize. I literally have 100 emails, apparently. That's great. And again, uh, I've said this several more times for you guys. I appreciate you guys who are interested in just looking at the break. But if anyone, when I launch the break 14,000, if you guys absolutely know for sure you are not taking a spot, I would appreciate if you guys just took a 5-10 minute break, um, stayed off the site for 5-10 minutes and give it a chance to breathe. So that way the people who actually want a spot... In all honesty, can uh, get their spots. Again, pre-warning, guys. I've seen the traffic already and the emails we're getting. I can pretty much guarantee 
The site will probably go down. I apologize well in advance. I really do, but uh, I just appreciate if anyone legitimately is not going to join, just wait a few minutes um, until after I launch it, like 5, 10, 15 minutes. You guys obviously will see the break. It's going to stay there. But uh, I would appreciate if you guys just gave it time to breathe. I know everyone wants to see it. But I promise you, you guys can all watch it live. That will not change, so. And I'm just going through the emails, guys. So I should be able to, uh, just so you guys know, I should be able to get through one more Series 2 break. And then I'll be pretty close to that 9 o'clock time. And I don't want to do a break when it's going to explode and all that fun stuff like it always does. And also for those that are joining the Mega Chancer, just so I know for future, because I plan on doing those once every month again at the end of the month. Do you guys like kind of the one absolute monster card as kind of the giveaway at under 50 bucks? Is that what's attractive to you? Just so I know. Or would you guys rather me have two, like, instead of one Quinn Hughes 99, I do two smaller. But, like, instead of having one $3,000 card or whatever it is, I have two $1,500 cards. Just so I know for those who joined it or looked at it. And can help me out in the future. Is that a better approach to have the bigger item? Just so I know for the future. Uh, the cup rate of it, when will the... So Nathan, they're about two to four weeks behind right now. So if you sent it, if we opened it on the 18th, we would have shipped it to them most likely on the 19th. They would have got it probably 22nd, 23rd. One, two, three, four, five, six. They should be getting it done pretty much soon. If not already done, just so you know. I would presume... And I don't want to speak, Nathan, uh, uh, and give you like false hope to everything. I would presume it'll be done. It's either done or early next week it'll be done. So we should get it next week. Uh, so the Quinn Hughes is a weird one. I saw one auction go somewhat low around like 1700 something US. But then I've seen other ones go for 3700 US. So I just said 3000 Canadian. That's kind of a conservative. I don't know. I feel like that's a safe spot for that card, in my opinion. But I just want to know for those that have joined it. No worries, Nathan. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to give you false hope, but yeah, that's that's what I would expect it. Um, the main reason I have to state that, Nathan, I've seen some cards the week before that. We just got a few of them in today. So my guess is. Yours would follow that pattern, I would think logically. So, you should be most likely, what is today, Friday? Yeah, sorry, early next week. I thought today was Thursday for some reason. So Friday, most likely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, best of luck in the randoms. Here we go. Here we go, 14,053, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy paste. One, two, three. Copy paste. Spencer, St. Louis, Link, Ottawa. Hawk, Scott, Pittsburgh. Big John, Florida. Hawk, Toronto. Uh, Dr. E, uh, Minnesota. Brick, Scott, Arizona. Dakin, Scott, Columbus. Dante, Ed Money. Max, Colorado. Aaron's got New Jersey. Luke's got Philly. Car Park, LA. No Sparks, Montreal. 
Dr. Evil got the Rangers. RDH Buffalo, Trap Tampa. Brick Carolina, Dante Calgary, Car Park Washington, Trap Islanders. Scott Dallas, Trap got Winnipeg National, Team Carroll Boston, Trap Detroit, Team Carroll San Jose, Joseph Vancouver, Jake, Chicago Scott, Vegas, Anaheim has Howie. I think Dr. Evil put a spell on this break. Got the Rangers in the wild. Oh, so the Saturday makes it a team random. But the person who wins the spot will have the last pick in the draft. So you will get pick number 31 in the draft. Uh, but you are eligible for all the prizing, though. So all prizing you can get. And by the way, if you guys want to grab your spots, there's only 10 left in that bad boy to get that chance at it. And again, feel free, guys, if you have any questions before I officially uh, launch 14,000, because that's going to be happening shortly. Again, the Saturday mix, we try to give you guys the best available opportunity to get into an absolute gigantic monster break. All right, well, I'm going to start 53, and then right after that, folks, it will be 14,000 time. We will probably, I'll try to get the random done actually. Uh, I'll try to do the random for the next break so at least we have that done. But good luck. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 14,053. Four boxer. Uh, when do I think it'll break? It's, well, I, I scheduled for Sunday at uh, 6.30 I believe. So the break, I might go on at 6.30. The break's probably going to start at 7. So it'll be a busy, busy, busy night. Canvas for the Sabres of Reinhardt. Lilligren Dazzlers for the Leafs. Sorokin Young Guns for the Islanders. Young Guns Canvas of Barabanov. For the Maple Leafs, Young Guns Canvas, Barabanov. Nice, we've got a box filler of La Rock for the Oilers. Box filler, Georges La Rock. We've got a chat field for the Vancouver Canucks, Young Guns. Barabanov, Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Portraits of True for the Sharks. Marky Rookie for the Avalanche, Shane Bowers. Canvas for the Flyer, Sean Couturier. Oh man, this case is pumping. Young Guns Clear Cut 
Dylan Cousins. Buffalo Sabres Young Guns Clear Cut. Dylan Cousins. Holy jeez. This case be rocking. Can or not canvas young guns of Hawk and Paw for the Anaheim Ducks. Portraits rookies of Broberg for the Oilers. Can you imagine if you open this case so far? Marky rookie for the Avalanche of Frank Cools. Marky rookie of Alexiev for the Caps. Whoever has the cousins, I highly recommend getting that graded, by the way. Marky Rookie Retro of Bowen Byram. Canvas of Dowdy for the LA Kings. No. As far as I know, Van Dirk, no. Unless they Easter egg that and made it incredibly rare. Marky Rookie of Crapsaw for the Rangers. But I have yet to see one, so I'm going to say no. Portrait of Burdam for the uh, Jets. And a Huberto French variant for the Panthers. David Kasha for the Philadelphia Flyers, Young Guns. Award winners of McKinnon for the Avalanche. Award winners of Hellebuck, the retro version for the Jets. Marky Ricky Blue of Zygadulin for the Calgary Flames. Portraits Rookies of Harley for the Stars. And Amicola for the Blues Young Guns. We are T minus 18 minutes till 14,000. How exciting. And obviously a reminder, folks, if somebody, uh, if you guys want to get that mega, ch mega chancer filled, and it goes tonight, I'm doing it tonight, so more than happy to get it done tonight if it gets filled tonight. I don't expect it to, but if it does, great. D'Angelo Canvas for the Rangers. Marky Rookie of Yo Levy for the Canucks. Portrait of Nitsov for the Sharks. And a Fogel French variant for the Carolina Hurricanes. Award winners of Hellebuck for the Jets. DeRosier for the Florida Panthers, Young Guns. Marky Rookie of Mikola for the Blues. Philip Karusha for the Hawks. Marky Rookie Retro. Retro Marky Rookie of Marshman for the Florida Panthers. Marky Rookie Blue. Robertson for the Leafs. Marky Rookie of Byram for the Avalanche. Is the dog exclusive French variant? What do you mean? Portrait of Johansson for the Buffalo Sabres. Lawrence Young Guns for the Canes. Cousins Young Guns for the Sabres. This is a Buffalo break now. Portrait Rookies. Lafreniere for the Rangers. Athanasiu for the Oilers Canvas. Canvas of Ehlers for the Jets. Seth Jones for the Jackets. Uh, see if we can find it. I'll be curious. Cole Smith Young Guns for the Preds. Signature Sensations Danton Heenan. So, Greg, is there a actual answer to this, or are you just stating it as you do not 100% know it's just a fun thing? Canvas of Weber for the Habs. Like, I'm thinking, is there an actual stat for it? Thurkoff for the Blue Jackets. 
Hagel Young Guns for the Hawks. Portraits Rookies of Crapsaw for the Rangers. Fluorescent Rookie of Benson for the Oilers. Fluorescence. Benson for the Oilers. Marky Rookie of Marshman for the Panthers. Oh. Well, I know Matthews, my God, he is insanely snake bitten right now. That guy cannot literally buy a goal. He is playing okay. Not great. He's playing okay. But that man, I swear, is the most unlucky guy right now. Mind you, I feel like he was over-delivering in the beginning, and now he's under-delivering, so I feel like it's an average. Yeah. That guy is snake bitten. Marky Rookie Red for the Golden Knights of Peyton Kreps. Mike Riley for the Ottawa Senators Canvas. Besser for the Canucks Dazzlers. And Whistle for the Hawks Young Guns. Young Guns Canvas of And Whistle for the Hawks. Romanov Young Guns for the Habs. Portraits Rookies of Hagel for the Hawks. The Saturday Mixer will go on Saturday. Marky Rookie of Vanasek for the Caps. Marky Rookie of Harley for the Stars. Skinner Young Guns for the Oilers. Marky Rookie of Burke for the Coyotes. Marky Rookie Retro of Broberg for the Oilers. Marky Rookie of Regula for the Hawks. A dual rookie jersey of Velarde and Anderson for the LA Kings. Dual rookie jersey. Crawley Young Guns for the Rangers. Tavares for the Maple Leafs. Portraits Rookies of Zagadulin for the Flames. Uh, Meta, I am absolutely not shocked at all. We have never really posted the Saturday. Portraits of Prisky for the Panthers. And a Phil Pula French variant for the Red Wings. We almost always post a Saturday after the big milestone. Regula for the Hawks. Yeah, at the end of the day, you guys have no idea what prize you could potentially win. Canvas of Kemper for the Coyotes. So this time I just posted beforehand so you guys can see. Marky Rookie of Ustamenko for the Flyers. So that's why I'm not surprised. Retro Award winners for the Oilers of Dre Seidel. Marky Rookie Blue for the Golden Knights of Reed Duke. Portraits Rookies of Carlson for the Hawks. And a Ligason Young Guns for the Oilers. What blows my, like, my mind, honestly, is how he's still leading the NHL in goals, or tied, obviously. And he literally has pretty much only scored, what, three goals in the last 12 games? That goes to show you how crazy his pace was. Which, again, not sustainable in my opinion. But that just shows you how crazy his pace was. And again, the man that he's tied with is, 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 uh, is pretty much the closest living thing we have to Gretzky right now. Bronton in Avalanche Canvas. Jack Hughes. Dazzlers for the Devils. Kiv Lennox. Young Guns for the Jackets. We've got a Young Guns 
or not canvas, Young Guns exclusives of Crawley. Exclusives Young Guns. Crawley. Paul, I feel like any big market team has the same problem. I remember reading some reports. Canvas of Bennington for the Blues of Philadelphia when they lost like that three games in a row by a big margin. Angelo Young Guns for the Penguins. And they are talking about like getting rid of some of the big stars and trading. You're like, it's three games, people. Relax. Young Guns of Stutzel for the Sens. Auto Senator Stutzel. Portraits Rookies of Peyton Kreps for the Vegas Golden Knights. Any big team, any big market has the same problems. Rookie Materials of Lawrence for the Canes. Like, here's the way I look at it. The Leafs were playing above how they probably were supposed to be playing in the beginning. Marky Rookie of Larmy for the Penguins. I think they're playing slightly below how they should be playing now. Checklist between Ottawa and Buffalo. So that would be random. I do definitely think Matthews has a wrist injury. Hurdle for the Sharks because he is noticeably passing way more than he ever has before. Portrait of Mikey Anderson for the LA Kings. And he's definitely passing in times that he always used to shoot. Marky Rookie of Joseph for the Penguins. Award winners of Bobby Ryan for the Ottawa Senators. But hopefully he gets some rest on it. Stuart Skinner, retro rookie for the Oilers. Pekka Rene Canvas for the Nashville Predators. Award winners of Lawrence for the Kings. Portrait of Geeky for the Canes and a French Young Guns of Marshman for the Panthers. I have not, no, I did not look at that. Meloche Young Guns for the Sharks. Marky Rookie of Kreps for the Golden Knights. Marky Rookie Retro of Zamula for the Flyers. Marky Rookie of Ant Whistle for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, blue Marky Rookie. Reed Duke for the Golden Knights Rookies. And a Brom or Brome, sorry, for the Red Wings. That's interesting. It could be, uh, I noticed that on some of his young guns, Greg, but that was a centering issue. So I did notice that actually on his, some of his young guns that we opened, that some did not have that and some did, but then I looked at it, it was literally just a centering issue. All right, good luck in the random. Here we go, send sabers. One, two, three, the sabers. You asked the predict. Yeah, I'd be curious to see if there if there was a reason for that, or maybe they just built one card before the other, or whatever, whatever it was. Right? Who knows? You know what, Paul? I, I don't. I still don't understand why Toronto potentially. Is going for a top six forward. I, I really don't understand the logic of that. Maybe I'm like blind on something. But I don't think Toronto's problems are in the forward area. Now lately I will agree. They're not scoring anywhere near as they should. But I also think that's that's something that I think is they're, they're in a bit of a slump. I just don't know. I don't know why they're going for another forward. I feel like defense or goalie 
100% is the problem areas out of the out of the three areas. So I'm kind of confused why they're so crazy on that of uh, you know I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that obviously, who knows. Oh, official name change. Okay, so that makes sense, Greg. Yeah, if they, uh, because again, they print them. It's not like this just gets printed in a day, right? They, they got a boatload of cards, a lot of different sheets. My guess is when they were going through the printing process, they realized, um, obviously, that was probably the incorrect or whatever you want to call it way to do it. And they uh, obviously adjusted and corrected that. So guys, I'm just getting the some spots that were cancelled. Um, officially good. So I apologize for that. And in about three minutes, I will be launching the beast. Again, folks, I do appreciate. I do appreciate if anyone is not going to buy a spot, please just stay off the spot uh, the site for like 10, 15 minutes and give the people who are legitimately interested in spots a chance to get a spot. So, I would appreciate that. Again, I apologize. I know it's probably going to go down. It sucks. But, uh, that is probably what's going to happen. So, Paul, obviously I agree with you that they're not performing, but what I'm saying, and I agree, I agree they're not performing, but what I'm saying is, should they need another one? Right? Like, realistically, Tavares and Nylander should be up there, in my opinion. I, obviously, maybe I'm wrong. I just think that it's more so they're underperforming. The point is, our D is still not a Stanley Cup winning defense caliber, in my opinion. But maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. All right, so about one minute left, folks, and I'll be posting that break. Uno's momentos, and it will be very fun. I get to have a whole bunch of people go crazy and ask me why the site's broken. I was, Greg, I agree with you. I, I still think Tampa is too good of a team right now I don't see I see Tampa and Vegas as my number one and two and I just think they're they're both so well rounded I do not see how anyone really beats them yet I think Toronto should be a legit top five or six but I just I don't know why people just expect Toronto to somehow you know roll over Tampa like Tampa doesn't exist anymore. Tampa Tampa is is literally the best built team right now in the NHL by far. As much as I'd love Toronto to uh, Toronto to be better than them, they're simply not. It's pretty much that simple. Um, Winnipeg, yeah, they underestimate them, but I, I, I still don't look at them as they're going to be a top whatever team.
All right, so again, folks, only those who uh, are legit interested in buying spots, I would appreciate if you guys go on the site now. It is live. For those that are not going to be buying it, please just give it like 10, 15 minutes, guys. So that way we can uh, just let it breathe a bit. So, you're not too worried about Tampa. Interesting. I, I think Tampa is absolutely by far the best team, not even close in the NHL. Like, not even close. We're on a roll. Greg, here's the thing. And I love it when trolls come in the room and they try to troll me. You're allowed to disagree with me. That is a beautiful thing in this world. All I ever ask is that look from both sides and that's what I always do when I have conversations with people too. Is always look at both sides of it. Do I believe Freddie Anderson is the greatest goalie in all time, for example? No. Do I believe he is completely at fault for our playoffs? No. Do I believe he is a very sturdy playoff goalie? I don't. But I'm saying, and as we talked about this, Greg, is I don't like when people just blame Anderson 100% like it's Anderson's fault. And I agree, Anderson's a bit shaky. 100% agree with you guys. He's a bit shaky in the playoffs. But Toronto's also not scoring at the pace that they should be to help out Freddie Anderson. It's exactly. It's all a matter of opinion, and everyone's allowed to have their own. There is no right or wrong on these things. Like, legitimately, there is no right or wrong. So, well, it looks like the site's holding up finally for once. That's a treat. That is a treat. And I appreciate all you guys' patience. So maybe it finally worked. Staying off the site helps. Even if it's just a little small things. Well, as I said, we did beef up a bit more for this one and obviously going forward. It is sometimes I can't control it. I don't know. Some of them are great and some of them are just terrible. I also tried something which is slightly different. I don't know if it really, uh, if it changed anything, but we also did this an hour earlier. I don't know if that helps it or not. Or maybe it's like less people are on at night. But I'm happy about that. It's because I know I used to have a lot of people tell me that uh, the 10 o'clock time did not work for them.
<laughs> so I'm not, uh, as I'm not too upset with how it's going. It is a draft, yes, sir. Yep. Well, as I said, anytime I've ever posted a monster, monster break, I legit never expect it to go in a day. It's just the other ones always has. And, and obviously, time of the year, it's literally after Series 2. But I, I do know several people who have uh, asked me to post it slightly earlier, but I also know that's also the opposite. So do we have stashes? No. I had to play that one cool because you kind of, uh, I can't spoil that, you know, when you're, when you're doing that to me, but. You can also, we upped the timer. So a lot of things we did it, um, to make this a little more accessible, better, easier for you guys. So I obviously will happily get feedback from all of you folks to see if we like the earlier time because we normally launch these at 10 or 11, which I'll be honest guys, it's way more ideal for our uh, West Coast members because 10 o'clock is 7 o'clock their time. So this is a lot more accessible for them. And that was kind of the game for, sorry, this is not as accessible for them, but the game plan was to see if this would work. All right, well, as uh, the site is holding up, which is absolutely freaking beautiful, I'm going to get the next randoms for 54 ready. Always happens. I think someone's having problems getting on the site. If anyone in the room is trying to call, send us an email. I can at least respond to the email quickly. Fax machine is ringing. All right, well. Well, that's the thing. What you have to realize, Dave, is like that cup case legit is about a seventeen to twenty thousand dollar giveaway. I even would say, like, if you hold on to that sucker for a year or two, you might have a twenty-five, thirty thousand dollar prize. Of contenders, I think it should be on the site. I thought it was. I I'm wrong, but always someone really wants to get a hold. All right, 
never do the random, folks. Here we go, 14,054, three times. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Wes Washington, the Garwood, Calgary, hockey fan, Carolina. Shaner, New Jersey, Tony, Florida, Brick, Vancouver, Max, Toronto. Pat's got Ed Money, Rich has LA, Yogi's got Anaheim, Brick's got Austin. DJ's got Islanders, Team got Vegas, Van Seven, Minnesota, Rainy Chicago, Hockey Fan Buffalo, Rich Montreal, Hockey Fan Ottawa, Link Pittsburgh, Jay Burray, Philly, Max Arizona, Beaumar Detroit, Thad has Nashville, St. Louis, Tristan Columbus, Link Dallas, Wes Rangers, Snyder, San Jose, Tristan Tampa, Aiden Colorado, Big John, Winnipeg. Yeah, it should be on our site. I don't know why it wouldn't be, to be honest. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Holy moly, guys. Give me one second. Craziness. All right. It would be hoping to visit your hands, yeah. It, it's going to be hard. Whoever whoever gets that case, I, I guarantee you it's going to be extremely hard for them to hold off on the uh, on purchasing or opening, sorry. All right. So the one guy said he was having a bit of trouble on the checkout, so I don't know if that's a, a common thing on this, which is not a good news thing. I would have to figure out what it is. So if anyone else is having problems, let me know, please. That would uh, help me out. That would be great. So obviously certain things are uh, somewhat funky.
we go. So I guess we'll find out. Said hopefully it gets filled up by uh, Sunday. We'll crush it out and kind of go from there. All right. Good luck, everyone. 14054. Here we go. 14,054. We've got. See you, JT. Yes, sir. The four boxes here, too. All right. Dazzlers connect me for the Flyers and a Devils retired canvas, Brendan Shanahan. Gross Young Guns for the Coyotes. Canvas of Paul Mary for the Devils. Dazzlers Pink Rookie Crapsaw for the Rangers. Quinny Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Ligasan Young Guns for the Oilers. Portraits Rookies of Zamula for the Flyers. We got a clear cut of Faxa for the Dallas Stars. Clear cut of Faxa. Marky Rookie of Karusha for the Hawks. Sharagonovich for the New Jersey Devils, Young Guns. Soccer is next, yes. Headman for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Portraits Rookies of Ant Whistle for the Hawks. Mar Award Winners of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Dylan Coglin Award Winners for the Can uh, sorry for the Vegas Golden Knights. Marky Rookie for the Golden Knights of Coughlin. Award winners of Hedman. Portraits Rookies of Regula for the Hawks. And Ironta for the Coyotes French variant. Lednov Young Guns for the Sharks. Canvas of Hamilton for the Canes. Weird. Marky Rookie of Soderstrom for the Coyotes. I think it's 160 or 140, something like that. I'll, I'll check quickly. Marky Rookie Retro Soderstrom for the Coyotes. Award winners Blue of Dumba for the Wild. And a portrait rookies of Frank Coos for the abs. I would hope so, Avery. Again, I gotta see if there's any pendings. Oh, there's still one more pack there. But I would hope they would. And we got a Hoaglander Young Guns for the Canucks. Hoaglander. Thirteen, fourteen. I think the only ones we have left are the blasters. Series one blasters. I think, and that's if we have much left. Things be flying nowadays. We've got a pre suitor for the golden. Uh, sorry, for the Hawks, young guns. Crawley, young guns for the Rangers. Portraits of Angelo for the Penguins. 
We've got a Sveshnikov, the suit, partial suit variant for the Canes. Marky Rookie of Ottinger for the Dallas Stars. Anthology, no, I think we have 12, 13, I think. Maybe not. Maybe 11, 12. Makar Award winners for the Avalanche. Suban for the Devil's Canvas. Mantha for the Red Wings. Shane Bowers for the Avalanche Retro Rookie. Makar Canvas for the Avalanche. Award winners, Blue Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Regula Young Guns for the Hawks. Portraits Rookies of McLeod for the Oilers. Sen Young Guns for the Devils. Keandre Miller, Young Guns for the Rangers. Portraits, Rookies of Yo Levy for the Canucks. Jack Eichel, Canvas for the Buffalo Sabres. Marky, Rookie of Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. Rookie Materials, Harley for the Dallas Stars. Jamie Ben for the Dallas Stars, Canvas. Marky Rookie for the Golden Knights, Reed Duke. Marky Rookie Retro of Craftsoft for the Rangers. Ah, oh, thanks, Avery. I appreciate that. Marky Rookie of Entwistle for the Hawks. We are located in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Portrait of Korshka for the Leafs. And a Tierney French variant for the Ottawa Senators. Veg Demo Young Guns for the Habs. I don't know why I closed the door. It is boiling now in here. So hot. All right. Theodore Canvas for the Golden Knights. Marky Rookie for the Dallas Stars of Kiparanta. Portrait Rookies of Kiparanta. And a French variant of Darren Helm for the Red Wings. Young Guns Canvas of Leonard for the Sharks. Leonard for San Jose. We've got a Nitsev or Nitsev or San Jose Sharks Young Guns. Marky Rookie Blue, Connor Ingram for the Preds. Portraits Rookies of Di Pietro for the Canucks. Marky Rookie of Skinner for the Oilers. Kaprizov Young Guns for the Wild. Award winners Retro of Hedman, Tampa. Marky Rookie of Broberg for the Oilers. Day with the cup for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Victor Hedman. Hedman, Tampa.
We've got a marquee rookie of Zamula for the Philadelphia Flyers. Marquee rookie of Kibaranta for the Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars, Rupe Hints, Soderstrom, Dazzlers for the Coyotes. Radish Young Guns for the Rangers. Burke Young Guns for the Coyotes. Cole Sar Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Portrait of McNiven for the Habs. Award winners of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Rookie jersey of Benson for the Oilers. Benson. Marshman Young Guns for the Panthers. Keller Coyotes Canvas. And a portrait of Ottinger for the Stars. All right, last box. Anisima for the Oilers canvas and an engram for the Nashville Predators. Cole Sar Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Young Guns canvas of foot. Tampa Bay Lightning. Young Guns canvas of foot. Dazzlers pink for the Nashville Predators. Roman Yossi. Pui Suter Young Guns for the Hawks. Marshment Young Guns for the Panthers. Rookie Materials Jersey Shane Bowers. Shane Bowers. Portrait of Shane Bowers. Marky Rookie of Belzile for the Habs. Nikes Nichas for the Canes, Canvas. Marky Rookie of McLeod for the Oilers. Award winners, Retro Bobby Ryan for the Sens. Leonard Young Guns for the Sharks. Portrait Rookies of Karushev for the Hawks. Marky Rookie of Ty Delandria for the Dallas Stars. Portrait of Larmy for the Penguins and a Lekkonen for the Montreal Canadiens. Prisky Young Guns for the Panthers. Marky Rookie of Sen for the Devils. Checklist will be random between Calgary and Ottawa. Award winners, Tampa Bay. Award, or sorry, Retro Marky Rookie of Regula for the Hawks. Marky Rookie Blue, Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. Portrait of Hawk and Paw for the Ducks. And an Angelo Young Guns for the Penguins.
The weakest team? It's interesting. Oh, that didn't go all the way. All right. Sorry, folks. Give me a few seconds. I don't know who would be the weakest team. There's teams that have done exceptionally well and then just absolutely tanked. And then some have done, like, terrible. And then really good. I don't know. Sorry guys, just trying to upload everything here. Sorry, folks. Just going to get the ball rolling here. And I gotta run some payments, I apologize folks. Alright, so I will grab the prism now, EPL. EPL. I will check that box for you. I'm just going to do the randoms because uh, the EPL, 
has been uh, patiently waiting. So that'll just take me a few seconds. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Rod's got West Ham. Tom's got Liverpool. Hockey fan Man U. Rod's got Chelsea. Tom's got Wolverton. Everton. Eric's got Brighton and Arsenal. Frankie Sheffield. Grim Crystal. Luke's got Newcastle. Frankie Leeds. Fergie's got West, Laird's got Southampton, Rod Burnley, Car Park, Aston Villa, and Tottenham, Garward Lester, Eric's Man U, and Fulham is Rod Dill. All right, so give me a few seconds, folks. I have to do a couple uh, orders on credit card.
So again, guys, I do apologize. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Website just collapsed. Why did you collapse website? Well, the good news is the monster looks like it's at 14 left. So that's uh, pretty damn impressive. Pretty happy with that uh, so far. I know we got a few people trying to do checkouts. We'll see if they actually go through or not. But uh, I know sometimes there are issues with the site. All right, EPL time for oh, 14,049. Here we go. Here we go. 14,049. We have the EPL Saka. All right. We've got an instant match of tyranny for Arsenal. Instant match of tyranny. And we've got a hyper silver of Minamino. Minamino, I believe, for Liverpool. Hyper silver. And again, all base gets shipped. Obviously, I'll read off all the rookies for you guys. We've got a multicolor of Minna for Everton. Minna for Everton. And we've got a per or uh, a rookie number to 99 for West Bromwich of Kyle Edwards. West Bromwich. 99 rookie. Kyle Edwards. We've got a scorer's club of Chris Wood. This is all Premier League. Yes, scorer's club, Chris Wood. That is for, what team are you? Burnley, I think. And we've got a Sanchez for Tottenham, number to 135. Tottenham. Hot spare. Let's see. We've got a pink of Matt Target. For Austin Villa. Pink. And we've got a Brandon Williams. 
Number to 149 rookie for Manchester United. Brandon Williams, Man U. 149. We've got an autograph for Manchester United. Andy Cole. Everyone, let me know if that's a good one or not. Manchester United, Andy Cole. We've got a fireworks of Conte for Chelsea. Conte for Chelsea, fireworks. And we've got a Sanchez for Tottenham, Silver. Silver. I don't know if there'd be a big hobby shop, but soccer uh, obviously down there is massive. Rookie multicolor of Meg Burney for Sheffield. Sheffield, Meg Burney. And we've got a Laporte Day for Man City to 199. Laporte for Man City. 199. Base. Or sorry, rookie. Atmosphere West Ham United. Atmosphere. And we got a Hyper Silver of Ederson for Man City. Hyper Silver. Let me, atmosphere goes here. We've got a gold number to 25 of Mark Noble, West Ham United. He's French. Which one? Which guy was it? So I know. Laporte? Okay. Hey, it's always good to know. Always good to know. I appreciate that. Fireworks of Azpilicueta, Chelsea. That name I probably butchered. Fireworks for Chelsea. And we've got a red number to 135 of Christian Bentec Benteke. Crystal Palace. We've got a multicolor of Stevens for Burnley. Kyle, a lot of people will somehow get offended. If you guys are out here legitimately helping me on these things, I want to lo learn. We've got another multicolor, so two of them, of Cabano, rookie for Fulham. Cabano, rookie. And we've got a Tim Ream, red, number 149 for Fulham. Tim Ream. Emergent of Lo Celso for Tottenham. Tottenham. 
Um, and a silver of Townsend. Townsend for Crystal Palace. Silva. I have no idea what the best card is in here right now. Is, is, is Andy Cole maybe the best? The autograph? I don't know why I put it on the top one. Rookie. Oh, that's a rookie. We've got a 199 Mings for Aston Villa. Mings for Aston Villa. The rookies. We have Mendy for Chelsea. Williams for Man U. Nakamba for Aston Villa. Edwards for West Bromwich. Bowen for West Ham. Ailing for Leeds. Uh, Pyrrhic for Crystal Palace. Tella for Southampton. Robinson for Fulham. Dallas for Leeds United. Gabriel for Arsenal. Costa for Leeds. Burge for she uh, Sheffield. Hector for Fulham. Kraft for Newcastle. Williams for Liverpool. Cooper for Leeds. Uh, Vittenha for Wolverhampton. And Gisa and uh, and Guisa maybe Fulham. White for Brighton. Sawyer's for West Bromwich. Jones for Liverpool. Uh, Odo Odoi Fulham. And Lamptey for Brighton. There we go. So no idea what the best card was, but hopefully there were some cool ones in there. Not too sure. Not sure if that was a good box, bad box. We need that gentleman who was here last time when I opened this and he, he could tell me what, when, when things were good or not. It made my life a lot easier. Unfortunately, once a timer goes, it, it kind of goes unless they cancel it. So I do apologize on that. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything until uh, they cancel that. It uh, kind of sucks, but uh, that is what it is. All right, I'm going to do some ultra. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm going to cancel some spots. I did see some, so give me. A few minutes, as always. Let's see, we have a few pendings. I'll see what they are. Uh, if it's frozen, I can cancel, yes. Sorry, I didn't know if you said it was counting down or... I will double check that very shortly for you. So I did the one, folks. Okay, so that one's done.
right. And again, guys, I do apologize. I'm uh, doing my best to get all this going. So that one should be canceled. <laughs> Again, guys, I apologize. Just sometimes these spots are a little annoying to do. Especially when you have to cancel a couple. But I am uh, just working along on that. So that's done. All right, and then uh, the last canceled spot. Where are you? There we go. Hopefully that was all of them. There we go. All right, so 4046, which is the Ultra. Sorry, All right, good luck. Oh, I have to do the random there. 1446. There you go. Good luck. Here we go, 14,046, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Stickman's got Toronto, Cody, Calgary, Age, St. Louis, Pets got Vancouver, Dr. Fire, Arizona, Colorado, Tampa, Wally, Minnesota, San Jose, White, Dallas, Mario, LA, Cody, Columbus, DJ's got uh, Montreal, White Balance, Anaheim, Age, Rangers, Cody, Florida, JoJo, Carolina, Cody, Nashville, Age has Pittsburgh. JoJo Detroit, Westy Washington, Age Islanders, Westy Buffalo, Pitts Ottawa, New Jersey, Stick Ed Money, DJ Philly, Pets got Winnipeg, Dr. Fire Chicago, 
Mario Boston. All right, a few minutes for trading as usual. minutes and we will start the next break. And again for anyone uh, in the monster break or you're thinking about joining the monster break um, if any spots, for example, do open up, we will obviously 100% let you guys know, but uh, that way we can get that rocking out. So it looks like the double, or not the double up, uh, looks like we got a few more breaks still to go tonight, which is going to be great. So one left in the premiere, six left in Canada, but we are going to start the ultra and then uh, keep going from there folks, good luck. Here we go, 14,046. We've got the Ultra. Best of luck, everybody. Finalist of Yashin for the Islanders. I'm pretty sure whenever there's a finalist, that's pretty much it in the pack. Holy, these things are uh, stuck together today. We've got a St. Louis for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ultra. A rookie of Johan Franzen for the Red Wings. We've got a Slater rookie for the Winnipeg Jets. For the Leafs, Daryl Sittler. Daryl Sittler. Holy moly packs. This one is one of the worst I've seen for stickiness. Normally they're not bad. Once you kind of crack them a bit, they flow nicely. But these ones are a little more stickier than normal. You guys can probably hear me cracking it. We got a finalist of Theodore. Montreal. Hopefully the other box is not like that. That would be not cool. Alfred Sin for the Ottawa Senators, finalist.
We've got a Yersina for the Boston Bruins. Datsuk, different makers for the Red Wings. Is there options? What do you mean options? We always give everyone a few minutes. Bogard, rookie for the Minnesota Wild. We've got a Madonna for the Dallas Stars. Scoring Kings. A rookie of Roach for the St. Louis Blues. Nice. But only on the team randoms, basically, we give people all the ability to trade, obviously, because team select, they pick their team, so. I don't know, it's a base. Rick Nash. Finalist, Blue Jackets. We've got an Albert rookie for the Boston Bruins. Iserman scoring Kings for the Red Wings. Finalist for the Coyotes, Kachuk. There we go. Hopefully box number two is not as uh, sticky. Ideally not. Finalist of Trevor Linden for Vancouver. Oh, so far it looks better. Scoring Kings for Anaheim of Getzlaff. Uh, this is among uh, among them right now. Barker for the Hawks rookie. Some of these products are just horrible for this. I, I just older, right? Scoring Kings of Gabarik for the Wild. You gotta remember, this frog's also been sitting for 16 years. Gordy Howe, finalist. That's a long time for a product to sit. Patrick Waugh for the Habs, finalist. Scoring Kings of Jerome Aginla for the Calgary Flames. We've got a Pruka rookie for the Rangers. Nord Green rookie for the Carolina Hurricanes. Difference makers Bird Tuzi for the Canucks. Steve Sullivan, finalist for the Preds. Finalist of Lemieux for the Penguins.
We've got a Ivonand rookie for the Habs. Rookie uniformity of Jokinen. Rookie jersey. Jokinen, Dallas Stars. We've got a Stemniak rookie for the Blues. Lee Stemniak. Finalist of Ray Bork for Boston. A rookie of Parise for the New Jersey Devils. And, oh, Parise is a nice one to get. Last but hopefully not least is a Peter Budai rookie for the Avalanche. There she goes, folks. Fourteen, oh, four, six. All right. All right, so. So it looks like we have two more breaks to go, ladies and gentlemen. That'll probably be it. I'm going to do the 14-10 because that literally is about a three-minute break to do. Hopefully the payment came in for that. I think it did. And it did, so we're going to crush that one. If, does anyone know basketball enough to know that in that Norman Powell deal? Is he uh, is he any good at all? All right. Good luck. 14,010. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. And Marshall Buffalo, Minnow, Vancouver. AJ, AJ's got New Jersey. Scott, Montreal. AJ Washington, Tolson, Pittsburgh, AJ Tampa, Cody Rangers, Minnesota, Scott San Jose, Hockey's got Carolina, Eric, Florida, LA, Anaheim, Barkers, Colorado, and Marshall Ed Money, Barkers, Boston, and uh, Ryan's got St. Louis, Minot, Detroit, Eric, Chicago, Trade, Philly, Ryan, Columbus, Trade, Ottawa, Tolson, Islanders, Eric, Winnipeg, Hockey's got Nashville, Trade, Dallas, AJ's got Calgary, Trade, Arizona, Eric, the Leafs. We got a younger Powell. Oh, okay, that's not bad then. And
And by the way, I'm going to quickly do the next random. 13, 9, 8, 7. And the rest will be a tomorrow project or tomorrow afternoon. But I am going to do the random for that big mix and we will crush that one tonight. Give me a second. So, so I might as well get both going so that way uh, right after this break I can skip over the next break for you guys. 13,987, everything three times, one, two, three, copy, paste, one, two, three, copy, paste. Marcus Calgary, R. Clark Boston, K. Mara, New Jersey, Yarmer, San Jose, Scott Montreal, Ashley Rangers, Jake Scott Tampa, Coach Detroit, Ashley Dallas, Pauls Chicago, Keith Arizona, Trab Toronto, Mason Ed Money, Sarah Islanders, Hockey Winnipeg, Snyder Florida, Pauls Pittsburgh, Biggie Columbus, Ashley Philly, R. Clark Buffalo, Timothy Washington, Patriots Colorado, Dirk Vancouver, A.J. Vegas, Rob L.A., Trab Ottawa, Patriots National, Aries got Anaheim, Gota St. Louis, Mario Carolina, B Banks, Minnesota. Alright, so both of them are going to be ready to go. But uh, let's start off with the very quick one. Nice and easy to do. Alright, 1410, ladies and gentlemen. All right, best of luck, everyone. Here she goes. 14,010 Ultimate Premier. We've got a ultimate introduction of Noah Gregor for the Sharks. Noah Gregor. For the Hawks, that's a good one, 299. Kubalik, Ultimate Rookie Auto of Kubalik, and apparently it's only a three card pack, but it was a good three cards. A 49 Retro Rookie Patch Auto for the Maple Leafs, Trevor Moore, I think we just missed a base card, Trevor Moore to 49. Retro Rookie Patch Auto with the Kuba Leaf. Very nice. And we've got a Coyotes OEL 299. Avalanche Makar rookie to 199 Makar 199 for the Sharks to 149 Mario Ferraro Mario Ferraro for the Carolina Hurricanes 
Andre Sveshnikov signatures. I think that's an eighteen nineteen card if I remember correctly. Sveshnikov. Dual jersey to twenty five of Marner and Anderson for the Leafs. Marner and Anderson. Dual jersey to ninety nine of Burns and Thornton. Sharks and Sharks Mario Ferraro there we go holy moly San Jose all over that San Jose crushed that one Avery apparently I didn't uh, I wasn't too nice to you eh my apologies my apologies not cool guys so I'm going to just uh, don't tip over oh that works all right we ready to start off 13 9 8 7 finally Good luck, nine eight seven. I was gonna I think is that the last of the thirteens, by the way? I think it's officially the last of the thirteens. Sad. Very, very sad. Alright, best of luck. Here we go. Thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighty seven. We've got the Mixed Break with Cup Headliner. Damn it, sometimes it sucks not to have nails. There we go. 9-5 Rookie Madison Bowie. Washington. We got a 9 Young Guns Colin Miller. 9 Young Guns Boston Bruins. And a graded 9 Synergy Green Rookie of Gerard for the Avalanche. Gerard Avalanche. All right. We've got a blue base of Stammer, Tampa, and a Profiles of Kane for the Hawks. Blue of Taves for the Hawks. Rookie of Godette for the Vancouver Canucks. Blue of Hyman for the Leafs. Greenway for the Minnesota Wild. We've got a Batherson rookie for the Sens. Eckblad blue for the Panthers. Dermot profiles for the Leafs. Or rookie, sorry, rookie for the Leafs. McKinnon blue for the Avalanche. Profiles of Burns for the Sharks. Blue of Anders Lee for the Islanders and our rookie of Cahoon for the Hawks. Blue of Kerfoot for the Avalanche. Dal Cole for the Islanders rookie. And eleven ninety nine Dan Vladar for the Boston Bruins rookie of Vladar. Dog. 
All right. Have they traded Kyle Lowry yet, or is it? They have Norris on TV. I see a lot of highlights of Kyle Lowry. There's something that I'm uh, I'm missing there. Portrait of Keller for the Coyotes. Oh, they kept him. Okay. Base. Shooting stars. Carter Hart for the Flyers. Young Guns of Henola for the Jets. Is he under contract next year or is he just walking? Canvas of Hellebuck for the Jets. I feel like if he's going to walk next year, isn't anything better than nothing? Portrait of McDonough for Tampa. Young Guns of Nygaard for the Oilers. Creation. Interesting. We've got a Zadina Glossy for the Red Wings. McCarr for the Avalanche. And a Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Canucks. Synergy. Well, as I said, the rest of the breaks are going to go tomorrow, just so you guys know. But we do have a personal break after this, which if any of you guys have been familiar, you probably know what it is. Patrick Waugh, red for the Habs. Coconut blue for the Canes. Exceptional town of Besser for the Canucks. So you guys have something to look forward to. Nylander, red rookie for the Sabres. Yurianov, green for the Stars. Impact players of Marner for the Leafs. Sedin for the Canucks, red, rowdy, blue, or sorry, green for the Pens. Logan Brown, newcomers for the Pens. Pasternak for the Boston Bruins, red. Alex Dabrinkat. That's a purple one. That might be pretty big. I think that's purple. Again, I apologize, guys. Slightly color blind ish. Certain colors don't want, but I think that might be a purple rookie. And if that is, that's actually a pretty damn good one to get. And a Lidstrom uh, Impact Players for the Red Wings. We've got a Carter Red for the Kings. Dre Seidel Blue for the Oilers. Fisher for the Coyotes. Nice. That would be a pretty big card then. We've got a Red of Price for the Habs. Sedin Blue for the uh, Canucks. Stammer for the Tampa Lightning. We've got a Campe Red for the Kings. Shifley for the Jets. Green and career spanning of Hashik, Chicago. We've got a Kerfoot red for the Avs, Broder blue for the Devils, and impact players of Line A for the Jets. That is sweet then, to bring it purple. Purples are very hard to hit. Very hard to hit, so congrats. We've got a Velarde Young Guns for the LA Kings. Dazzlers of Shesterkin for the Rangers. Canvas for the Philadelphia Flyers, Claude Giroux. Benson Young Guns for the Oilers. Canvas checklist, Patterson and Hughes. Base. Norris Young Guns for the Sens. Portrait of Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. 
Geeky Young Guns for the Canes. Young Guns Canvas Soderstrom for the Coyotes. Soderstrom. Coyotes. Lebes. Lebes. So any Leaf fans want to predict what trade we're going to make? Anyone? Any, is there any rumblings out there of what uh, is even potential? And who we would give up at this point? Portrait of Logan Couture for the Sharks. McMichael Young Guns for the Cats. Portrait of Flurry for the Knights. Canvas of Ryan Suter for the Wild. They trade Robertson, but depends on what we get, though. We've got a Vasilevsky Tampa Bay Lightning jersey. Matthias Ekholm. Again, I apologize for not knowing too much. Would he be, would he be a top six? Is he was he Nashville Ekholm? Portrait of Lilligren for the Leafs. And a Baudin Young Guns for the Hawks. SPX I got legit have no idea what team he's been on You're a Canucks fan Well they got an interesting team in here this year He'd be a top four, really? No. Who do you knock out of Toronto's top four to put him in out of curiosity? Holy moly, let's get some cool cards in here. Come on. Quinn Hughes is a beast. And speaking of beast, this is a sick card. L.A. Kings Flashback Fabrics Auto Luke Robitaille Luke Robitaille Base Be a top two in Toronto. Woody, actually, though, in all honesty, Woody, we've got a rookie for the Blue Jackets of Kubalik to four ninety nine. Thomas Kubalik, that is. Rookie jersey auto, Eric Goodbranson. For the Florida Panthers. 799 rookie jersey auto. Dual jersey for the Devils. Parise Kovalchuk. Winning combos. Dual jersey. We've got a winning materials jersey. Rick Nash. Rick Nash. A rookie materials of Zach Cassian. 
So I'm guessing you'd have Riley and at home. You'd have Brody bump down. Is that correct? And a Legends of Hockey to 499 of Esposito. And we've got a 1999 Gustav Nyquist. 1999 rookie Nyquist. So what are we what are we giving up? Is Robertson enough type thing, or is there more to it, or is that just enough? Maybe I can put them on that side. There you go. We've got a rookie of Veranu for the Ottawa Senators, Myers for the Flyers Top 50, and a Top 50 rookie jersey, Rem Pitlick. Robertson in a first. It's a bit hefty, but it's needed. Rookie of Pitlick for the Preds, short print rookie of Dobson for the Islanders, Anders Lee for the Islanders White Die Cut, Glass rookie for the Vegas Golden Knights. Top 50 of Fox for the Rangers, Tuck for the Vegas Golden Knights White Die Cut, and Hiroshi for the Red Wings. McCarr for the Avalanche, Sandine, short print rookie for the Leafs, and a quartz autograph of Jake Gensel. Quartz auto Jake Gensel. For the Penguins. That doesn't really solve our top six forward issue though, does it? We've got a top 50 Boston Bruins of Coolman. Wallstrom red die cut for the Islanders. Wallstrom rookie for the Islanders. Short print of Wallstrom for the Islanders. Flurry die cut for the uh, Montreal Canadiens. And a paling for the Habs rookie. Top 50 of Libor Hayek for the Rangers. Rookie of Dobson for the Islanders. Max Jones for the Ducks. Shifley for the Jets. Red jersey. Texier for the Blue Jackets. Winter Storm of McDavid for the Oilers. Tavares for the Leafs. White die cut. Sandine, rookie for the Leafs. And a setting shin for the Bruins. They talked about Jonathan Quick. That'd be interesting. That would be very interesting. I'm curious where that would put either Campbell or Anderson then. For the Oilers, Leon Dre Seidel. Leon Dre Seidel. For the Calgary Flames, Matthew Kachuk. For the Islanders, Noah Dobson. Noah Dobson. For the Blue Jackets, the 149 Green Seth Jones. For the Red Wings, the 149, Steve Iserman. Stevie Y. We've got number to 60, or sorry, 85, Jerome Aginla. Calgary Flames. Nice. Base auto for the Rangers. R. Tammy Panarin. R. Tammy Panarin. And we got a Bulk Fist Reliance for the Hawks. Clear cut. Nice.
boys. Number to 65. Rookie exclusive auto for the Flyers. Philip Myers. Myers for the Flyers. That's pretty sweet. All right. Where's my big noise? It's cup time. Panarin definitely does not sign too much. You're 100% you're accurate on that. We got a 249 for the Rangers, Artemi Panarin. 249. Nice one. 249 for the Buffalo Sabres, Victor Olofsson. 249, Olofsson. For the Devils, number to 35, Paul Mary. I think I'm one off his jersey, number two, scripted swatches. Paul Mary. For the Maple Leafs, signature renditions, Curtis Joseph. Cujo. Number 10 of 10, Rookie Foundations Quad Patch, Kalem Costin. Clem Costin. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's very nice. Number 51 of 79. Dual honorable numbers patch auto between Philly and Ottawa, Carter Hart and Drake Batherson. Well, I'll quickly get the randomizer ready for that bad boy. Holy jeez. That's a fun random. One second, folks. Going to get that one going and, uh, oh man. I wish you guys both the best of luck. Here we go, the randoms. One, two, three. The Ottawa Senators get it. Well, that was pretty sweet. Can we play Spence? Yeah. Cole, have a good night, sir. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, for those that have stuck around, just give me a few seconds. One second, folks. That was a big hit, though. That was a pretty big hit. I gotta go grab uh, grab something, which would be awesome.
Bum, bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Good luck. Yeah, we know what's coming up. I got to get this Makar for him. I, I don't know. I got a really good feeling tonight. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's this one right here, guys. We got to do it. All right, Sir Ed, good luck. Let's crush this. Here we go. Ed's case of cup. As I said... We have had some absolutely awesome cases with that 99. Mind you, it's not easy to get that. It's not exactly like this is a super easy card to get. But that 99 has eluded us. But I feel like tonight, I feel like tonight's a good night. Oh, the first case he absolutely murdered. I do remember that. So, as I said, if we're not getting the Makara 99, I just hope we get an absolutely absolutely top to bottom filthy case but we'll see i feel i feel my car ink tonight i honestly do so let's get going all right 249 nikita kucherov kucherov 249 Red Gardner, rookie patch auto. Rookie patch auto. I like that color on the bottom right. Endorsement Relics patch auto number to 50, Julian Gauthier. Patch auto number to 50. Uh, we had a couple customers get them but on shipments. I don't think we've opened one live yet, unless Ashley has. That's probably a decent one. A day with the cup. Signatures. Wayne Gretzky. Day with the cup. Signatures, Wayne Gretzky. Wow. And a triple jersey to 33, Glass Hag Schultz. Wow. That's a healthy pack one start there. <laughs> Who? Yeah, you know. Who's this guy? The Macars I've seen, honestly, they, they kind of range. But depending on how many colors and stuff they got, I've seen, I think one sold for like 15 grand or something, or 13 grand. Again, those are, I will say this year, with Hughes, Hughes, and Macar, I feel like those are very, very, very good long term holds for, uh, for value right now. Like. I really do believe that. I think these are going to be great long-term values. Because they are just... They are tearing it up at a young age. And that is a very good sign that uh, it's going to be crazy in the future. 249 Smith. Billy Smith. 249 Morgan Frost. Morgan Frost. That is a sick looking patch. Limited logos. Patch auto to 50. Alex Tuck. Limited logos. Patch auto number to 50. Alex 
Tuck, I love that swatch too. Number to 99 signature patches of Rasmus Asplund. Rasmus Asplund. Woo! Numbered one of ten rookie foundations quad patch Quinn Shoes. One of ten Quinn Shoes. Sick. And we got a Caco 249 for the Rangers. I was trying to think in my head right now of what kind of deal can I give this gentleman if I don't get a 99 for him in the next, like, couple cases. Got to think of something. Because I like doing things that, A, keep the excitement going, and B, I am putting all my effort into getting a damn 99. But they're not easy to get by any means. <laughs> they are definitely not easy to hit. I think I've opened four, I think, for him. I think. I think two glasses. I know I got a Hughes. I'm trying to think if I got another one. Panarin, 249. 249. I think we already had him. 249, Libor Hayek. Libor Hayek, patch auto. We've got an overshadow rookie patch auto to 55. Elvis Mers Lickens. 55. Elvis Mers Lickens. For the team number 12 of 12. Gold base auto for number 12, Eric Stahl. Just a lot of 12s in this photo right there. 12 of 12, Eric Stahl. We've got, wow, this is a really good pack. Inked insignias number to 75, Igor Shesterkin. Shesterkin. And Coyotes 249, Barrett Hayden. Should have moved that uh, cup tin. You're in the way, cup tin. A little wild. For the Habs. Hey, that, that card is significantly increased in value today. So, this morning that card, not a bad card. Tonight, great card. I gotta figure out. What's a fun, what's a fun game, guys, I can try to offer? If I don't get a 99 in the next few cases. If me and him have chatted, there will be a few more coming down the pipeline. Jonathan Drew in, 249, hopefully. I'm not going to hold him to it if it doesn't need to be. We've got a 249 Teddy Bluger for the Penguins. Teddy Bluger. 249. Four, doesn't matter the team, number to 35. Rookie scripted swatches, Rasmus Sandin. That's a pretty sick one for the Leafs. Sandin scripted swatches. Another day with the cup signatures, Brooks Orpik. Wow, what a really good box. Number 90, Exquisite Rookie Patch Auto of Boakfist. 
Bo Chris number to ninety. And a two forty nine, Barrett Hayden for the Coyotes. I saw the uh, the three boxes that Ashley opened yesterday. I found it quite comical that she got two of the Mike Vernons back to back. The uh, was it championship etchings or whatever they're called? That I found hilarious. The odds of that. And then she got two Stroms I heard in clear cut back to back. Apparently it's her day for back to backs. He's building a house of cup base, yeah. You know what I'm doing in my head right now? I'm doing the math of how many cases on average. I think, what do we say on the first day? Is one in every like seven cases to get a 99 on average? A 99. 249, Pekka Rene. Nashville. Pittsburgh doesn't have the team, Sam Lafferty. 249. Endorsement relics, patch auto to 50, Joe Pavelski. Joe Pavelski. <laughs> a box and a box. That's how you know it's good, right? We got a signature materials patch auto Connor Hellebuck. That last card is cool. Hellebuck. Number to 75, Olafson. Draft class auto gold. Oh, yeah. One of one. Printing plate rookie auto Quinn Hughes. And that is the exquisite rookie auto patch, Quinn Hughes, which is a very good one to get to. But damn, that is nice. One of one Quinn Hughes and a Gretzky. And we still have one more to go. That is sick. Oh, you know, I love, you know what? I think the printing plates are great. I think it's a great, unique idea to get, uh, I don't think get rid of them, but to make them very highly collectible, and I like that. We've got a base to 249, Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner. 249, Caden Primo. Caden Primo. 249. Oh, that is filthy looking. Number to 83. Exquisite rookie patch auto. Carson Coleman. Number to 83. Carson Coleman. You have to do this set now at this point. Day with the cup signatures. Marty Brodeur. I don't know how many are in the set, but he got Brodeur and Gretzky. And an Orpik, but holy jeez. Marty Brodeur. Kuwa jersey to 49 of Gensel. And finish off with a one-of-one one plate auto, Trevor Moore. There you go. Well, I gotta say that was a filthy case overall. Very, very, very filthy case. If you would like more, sir, let me know. I am game to get you a 99. I am game to think of a game for a 99. 
that is up to you. Just let me know, sir. said more than happy to do uh, another couple if need be or if wanted to uh, they originally well they're 1500 now I believe or 1400 like we're under 10 now in the monster so that's good news some of our uh, west coast and Europeans uh, who wake up should be able to see the monster of course if anyone wants to join it missed it there's still a few spots left not many but uh, I am just seeing the Gretzky. I would presume it's at least about a thousand bucks ish. Again, I not one hundred percent sure, but that case was a very, very, very good case. Like very good case. Ah uh, no, Paul. Those ones are pretty much. The sad news is, other than the release night, cases are going to be near impossible to find um, of certain items. Like, clear cut was already massively short printed. So I'm just seeing. I'll give it another five minutes. If. Uh, if no answer, no problems, and the rest will go another day, but no rush on that at all. I will let you guys know in a couple minutes if that's the end. But if, if it is, then we still have some breaks. I'm going to launch a couple breaks right now for tomorrow either way. Uh, ice will be a little while, to be honest. I just don't know when. But Ice, ice you got a little bit of a wait. What's up, Angie? How you doing?
So again, guys, just give me a few more minutes. I am doing phenomenal, thank you. As I said, doing absolutely great. Zero complaints. Uh, but not on the pre-order page yet. I don't know. Honestly, there's a lot. I don't, uh, I don't even know which one they're left. I really don't. Clear Cut was released two weeks ago, I think. Does that make sense? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was two weeks ago. I honestly think all the one I'm very curious about, Van Dirk. Like, straight up, legitimately very curious about. Is Platinum going to go way crazier than normal? Because I'm looking at what the Platinum Rainbows of Matthews and McDavid are going for. So, is that trend going to be kind of like our prism? And will people go absolutely bonkers for it? So that I am very anxious to see. So I I honestly do think platinum could be a very very intriguing one. Yeah, you know what, Ben? I saw that too. It looks a little underwhelming. I absolutely do agree with you on that. I, I just never judge something. Again, I'm not saying you are, but I don't really ever judge it until I see it in my hands. Because there's been a lot of times where I've seen cards that they've posted a picture of them, like that looks like crap. And it actually looks up like it actually looks decent. So I I've, I've tend to kind of hold it uh, a little back until I finally see them in my hands. But I do agree. The pictures to me were a little underwhelming when I first saw it. I absolutely know exactly what you're talking about. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, I think that will probably be it for the night. I'm just going to get the last break up for you guys, and might as well stay on here and chat with you guys while I'm doing it. So, the QC, uh, that's been a bit of a problem. Absolutely will uh, not deny that. That has definitely been a bit of a problem. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got some big breaks launched for the next few days. So, of course, with that being said, have yourself a beautiful evening. Thank you guys all for your support. I always appreciate it. Keep well and see you guys tomorrow.